It's a masterpiece of engineering. A work of art that flies down the road at 253 miles an hour. Part airplane, part automobile. A rare combination of sculpture and speed. Only 300 will ever be built. Base price without options, $1,750,000. An extreme price for a car that pushes extremes in every direction. It's the Bugatti Veyron, and it's unlike any car ever made. Nothing about this car is normal. Its engine cranks out an amazing 1,001 horsepower, nearly twice as much as most other super sports cars. It has a top speed of 253 miles an hour. Few other supercars can even come close. The Bugatti Veyron is a super supercar. The Veyron is a car whose brakes come from the same company that makes brakes for jumbo jets. A car with light speed sensors to precisely control its own wing. A wing that helps keep the Veyron on the ground. Because the car goes faster than a jet taking off. A car that required aerospace experts working with automotive engineers to build it. At the end, it, it, it was agreed that there was a small team of people. Few of them were working on other car projects before, but a lot of them came from outside and were just excited about this extreme project. And that was absolutely necessary. I think otherwise we would have stopped in the first, first three months and said, well, it's not, we can't do it. The Veyron wears the initials of Ettore Bugatti, the father of the Italian family that built extremely unusual high-performance cars from 1909 to 1947. Bugatti comes back to life in 1998 when Volkswagen buys the rights to the brand. Two years later, the decision is made to build something extraordinary. A car that would have 1,001 horsepower and a top speed of 253 miles an hour. The way this project started, it was very clear from the beginning that you could not use normal solutions. Normal solutions would never have brought this result on four wheels to a positive end. The very first challenge is monumental. How do you build an engine with a thousand and one horsepower? An engine with five times the power of a normal car. Even more incredible. How do you give such a powerful engine two very different personalities? One where it's a beast on a racetrack. The other, a gentle giant that can be driven around town every day. And this engine you can race with and you can also drive it uh, at idling speed 
through the town. And in the beginning, I think a lot of people did not believe that this could be done at all. It takes the engineers five years to find the answer. Bolt together two V8 engines and create one giant 16-cylinder monster. The new engine is called a W16. The W engine, so two Vs. The W16 engine has more horsepower and uh, a higher acceleration than an NASCAR. That engine is built in Salzgitter, Germany, about 150 miles west of Berlin. Volkswagen Salzgitter is one of the biggest engine producing plants in the world. But in one special corner of this huge factory sits a small room where eight specialists build the W16 for the Bugatti Veyron. The Veyron engine is um, absolutely handmade engine. Hand assembly actually starts with hand delivery of engine parts. Parts carried inside custom padded cases as if they were fine jewelry. Parts machined out of solid titanium a material you would expect to find in an airplane and not in a car. One thing which we share with airplanes is that we use the same material. There has been used titanium uh, where other manufacturers use steel. The W16 is built with more than 3,500 parts, nearly twice as many as a typical engine in a compact car. Each of its 16 pistons are carved from blocks of aluminum. Every bolt is tightened by hand. And then checked by computers. It takes a full week to assemble one engine. Building the Veyron engine pushes technology to the limits. Testing it proves to be even harder. In 2001, at a tiny workshop in Wolfsburg, Germany, workers run the engine at full throttle for the very first time. No one really knows what will happen. This location is a little bit the historic site because uh, this location we reached at first the 1,001 horsepower. But the 1,001 horsepower number isn't really true. The engine actually produces 3,000 horsepower. Two thirds of that energy is heat. engine first runs at full power, it nearly burns down the building. In the beginning, uh, this test stand here was a normal one, and the first experience we had was that the exhaust system on the roof was totally burning down. And at full load, uh, we generate waste energy that could keep 100 family homes warm in winter. The exhaust gas is so hot that in an early road test, a six-foot flame shoots out the back of the car. The test crew detected that the exhaust gas was hot enough at 200 miles per hour to reignite when it uh, came in contact with the ambient air. So there was a, a six-feet flame shooting out of the exhaust system. Of course, nobody gets close enough uh, to a vehicle when you're cruising along at 200 miles per hour, but uh, still, <laughs> it's, 
It's illegal. The solution is to redesign the car's exhaust using a tested technology. We decided to use titanium for our exhaust system. It's also used for aerospace. But they also need to reduce the extreme heat inside the engine. So they design a really extreme cooling system. In the Bugatti, everything had to be taken one step further. Like handcrafting a single radiator so it would have 600 separate grooves for water to flow through. They do it by stacking 30 separate plates into a jig. Welding it all together. Polishing it. And then pressure testing the unit to make certain there are no leaks. It takes 15 hours to build one radiator. And each Bugatti Veyron has 10 radiators. But a one-of-a-kind engine will need a one-of-a-kind transmission. So for Bugatti engineers, the next challenge is critical. How do they make the Veyron one of the fastest shifting cars in the world? The Bugatti Veyron is famous for its top speed of 253 miles an hour. I think it, it, it had defined an own class, an own, an own league of super sports cars. With 16 cylinders sucking in more fuel and air than any other car on the road, you can actually hear the unique sound of the Veyron before you see it. But equally remarkable is just how fast the car accelerates. The Veyron can blast its way to 185 miles an hour in less than 17 seconds. That's faster than the takeoff speed for a jumbo jet. At 185 miles an hour, the car's still accelerating hard. The transmission enables the car to uh, accelerate without lack of power. This is a very special feeling. You just feel the acceleration performance without any interruption, without any stop. It never stops. The transmission shifts in about uh, 150 milliseconds, which is just the same as a blink of your eye. Bugatti engineers come up with a transmission with a secret. The Veyron has two transmissions built into one. They call it a double clutch transmission. You have uh, two input shafts, one for the even gears and one for the odd gears, and you have two clutches, each clutch acting on, on, the, on each input shaft. With two separate transmission shafts, two gears can be engaged at the same time. To shift, all the car does is switch clutches. And the shift is then only the change of the clutch system. The double clutch concept is why the transmission can shift so fast. The car can be accelerating in one gear and already have the next gear ready to go. It's only possible to do this with an uh, automatic controlled transmission. Being automatically controlled is not the same as being an automatic transmission. 